Chapter 561, Black Pearl Many practitioners had gathered in Luo City. The secret practitioners had heard about the competition among the six families to take over the black market. This was like in a martial hero's novel, where experts fought over treasures. But the competition between the families that the secret practitioners had been expecting suddenly became much different. Li Yunchu and the rest carried away the magical stones, their expressions gloomy. They had to go back and reconsider their strategy. They had definitely made losses, and now, they had to find a way to make up for it. But how should they make up for such a large loss? This was a very difficult problem. The secret practitioners gathered in Wenwan City. After waiting for a long time, the Lord left. One hour passed before the families left with a dark expression on their face. Everyone looked at one another in blank dismay. What did the Lord say to them? It was said that even the families themselves did not know exactly what they were gathered here for. They would not spread this information either. Luo City became the center of attention among practitioners overnight. But the practitioners all over the country probably did not think that the families, who were supposedly rivals in this, would sit together tonight. There were no eternal enemies in the world, only eternal prophets. Every family had bought 10,000 magical stones from Li Yixiao. So who did the black market belong to? They recalled what Li Yixiao had said when he had invited them over, I have magical stones on hand. I am preparing to leave the market, thus I am selling them. Everyone had thought that this was a hint that buying the magical stones meant that they would gain the black market as well. Li Yunchu said coldly, the Li family has spent 400,000 per magical stone. We even gave up a jade that can preserve youthful looks. This value has far exceeded the market value, so the black market belongs to the Li family. Nalan K said with disdain, who did not pay 400,000 per stone. Furthermore, it is not a big problem even if a celebrity bought that jade. We are not playing around here. The Nalan family gave up a vidra. The Gao family gave up a soothe bell. The Wang family. Everyone fought to say what their family had given up. But one family had not spoken. It was like a game of beat the drum, pass the flower. The drum beat had not stopped, but the flower had broken. Nalan K glanced at the Lu family. What did your family give? The Lu family son laughed. We gave them a pearl. After the era of rich magical energy, we have confirmed that the pearl is a magical weapon that has no function. The Lu family, unlike you, was not so liberal, thus we did not suffer much loss. Nalan K was silent. Ouch. Up till just now, they had been competing over which family was the richest. Now, thinking about it, they were just comparing who suffered the most losses. Lu Xu was at home analyzing the weapons he had received. He fed the divine water with the weapons. It was best to have one talent to rely on. When experts fought, they did not have the time to let you use so many weapons. One skill that could attack enemies was sufficient. Lu Xu agreed with what Li Xianyi had said. The sword was the most powerful method of massacre. Lu Xu relied on divine water and the sword. Things like the Vidra and Soothe Bell were just too normal. From Lu Xu's point of view, the items that the families had given up were not worthy. Its magical energy was on par with the Sun Moon Mirror. He tried the weapons out and found that the Soothe Bell could not even soothe Little Fury, so what use did Lu Xu have for it? On the other hand, the Golden Snake was very happy. It gobbled up the weapons in one mouthful. The divine water increased in volume as well. Under normal circumstances, water element metahumans were at a disadvantage on land. Couldn't they draw water elements from the air? But now, the divine water Lu Xu possessed could fill a body of water as large as a swimming pool. Even if he was on land, he did not have to be overly cautious. If he could instantly create a lake of divine water, very few organizations would be able to threaten him anymore. Lu Xu was refining his skills. The divine water could attack groups, defend, and break weapons. 
the mask was for disguise. These two weapons were highly functional. The flying sword and aura blade, on the other hand, possessed pure destructive power. As for the sun moon mirror and the purple golden gourd, they were just there to pull a prank. But among these weapons, there was one weapon that Lu Xu did not provide with divine water. He fished out the black pearl from his pocket and carefully looked at it. At first glance, it seemed like a black glass bead. But on closer inspection, he realized that a black fog was circulating within the pearl. Why would this make the flame react? Lu Xu could not understand. He suspected that this pearl had some connection to the puppet master, like the mask. This was not irrational as to date, he had only reacted as such to the mask and this pearl. Furthermore, other people could not use the mask. He could only use it after suppressing his flame. Lu Xu tried to use his magical instincts to search for the pearl, but the search bounced back. At this moment, the flame in his heart jumped again. The resistance from the pearl instantly vanished. Lu Xu's consciousness suddenly placed itself in the black fog. A distant voice sounded. A familiar bloodline. Who are you? The voice sounded wide and distant. It did not sound like a person speaking. It sounded more like a spirit speaking. Lu Xu retreated in shock. For some reason, he felt that this pearl was somewhat odd. It would be best to avoid staying inside. The moment he retreated, the thick fog within the pearl started to roll, before gradually coming to a standstill. What a close shave. He had better not touch the pearl for the time being. This was just too scary. The meeting between the families continued in the meeting room of a hotel. The son of the Lu family said, Everyone knows that it is not possible for someone to pull out. We should all work together for this to work. We have to dominate the Luo City black market. This way, we still have the possibility of turning our losses into profits. Six families controlling one black market? The profits would be diluted. No one wanted to see this happen. Who would want to see this happen if there was some other solution? They did not believe that Nye Ting would not get hold of the news. Did Li Yixia really dare to do so without Nye Ting's knowledge? They had not seen Nye Ting come to stop him either. They felt that even Nye Ting could not possibly ignore tens of thousands of magical stones. Chapter 562 We Have Been Tricked it was difficult for the families to unite in the face of such a large profit. They started to argue back and forth. Whoever gave way first was an idiot. At the same time, the families started to do research on Li Xiao and Lu Xu. After all, Lu Xu was not a nobody. It was not particularly difficult to find information on him. But the information made them feel uncertain. There were no abnormalities with Li Xiao after he had returned from the Cocheng Island remains. On the contrary, he was very poor and made a lot of noise about it. Nalin K felt a headache whenever she saw the two words Li Xiao. Hmm. He is poor, but why did he contract for a small factory near the Lu family village? He even bought property rights for a house. Li Yunchu was very surprised and puzzled. He did so two days ago. There was nothing amazing about buying a house or land. Which child of these big families did not have property? But there was no reason for Li Yixiao, a heavenly king, to suddenly buy a house at a village. He even contracted for a factory that had previously altered clothing. The factory belonged to the village manager's son. It had decent business in the past. It was only recently that a bank run occurred and it stopped operations. The factory was not very efficient, but it occupied a large space. It was very close to Route 301. These seemed to have nothing to do with the black market deal. But it had happened just two days ago. This was a serious problem. Before the families could go to the workshop to have a look, someone received a phone call. There's something wrong with the black market. Hurry and take a look. The families looked at each other helplessly before rushing to the black market. When they approached the gate, 
they almost vomited fresh blood upon seeing the freshly painted red words on the steel gate. This place has changed owners. We have moved to the Lu Family Village Clothes Alteration Factory near Route 301. All customers will receive Chinese chives upon arrival. The vendors are selling Chinese chives wholesale for a low price. This was just too cruel. The entire black market was vacant. Li Xiao had brought them along with him. Everyone thought that even though they had incurred losses, at least they had the black market as consolation. They may not even be able to earn the few hundred million they had lost. But in the end, everyone had run away from the black market. Is a black market without secret practitioners still considered a black market? They had no use for a bomb shelter. Nalin K gnashed her teeth. Li Xiao, Lu Xu. Li Xiao could not have possibly thought of this. It must be the doing of that Lu Xu. Li Yunchu calmly said to his subordinate, tear down the gate and throw it away. He then turned his head and said to the other families, everyone, this is not the time for hesitating. I suggest that the six families evenly split the profits. We have to hurry up and drag the secret practitioners back. If not, we would have completely wasted our effort. The families could argue over the profits, but they could also quickly unite over profits. They may be able to run away, but we can also drag them back here. The Wang family laughed coldly. Li Xiao may have forgotten that magical stones are the goods with highest demand in the black market. Although magical stones are currently not considered hard currency, but who knows what will happen in the future. We will be the vendor with the most magical stones. But the price of our magical stones are much higher than market value. We can't possibly sell it for a cheaper price, right? The Wang family member shook his head. No, we are not selling them at a lower price. We will sell them at 400,000 per piece. We just need to drag the secret practitioners back here. Our price is disadvantageous. How do we drag them back? The Wang family member said, magical stones are consumable goods. Some secret practitioners may have used them up after painstakingly collecting them. Furthermore, the number of magical stones in the country is decreasing. A day will soon come when they are all used up. There will be a new channel that transports magical stones. But do you know the origin of these magical stones? Where else could they be from? They were brought into the country from overseas. That's right. But I believe that we have certain control over the black markets in the country. We can also only retrieve so many secret practitioners back here. How great would it be if we worked together to prohibit these backpackers who bring magical stones with them? Everyone's eyes lit up. If they strictly prohibited those secret practitioners from bringing magical stones into the country, then the domestic magical stone market would be monopolized by them. With the skills of the families, their profits would not be limited to what they had now if they monopolized the magical stones. The Nalin family is willing to put up 5,000 magical stones for sale. Nalin K said coldly. Li Yunchu laughed. The Li family will put up 5,000 stones as well. That night, over 10 secret practitioners were stopped by the families at the border. There were even people who had been chased down by the families after entering the border. They did not kill these secret practitioners, if they did, the Heavenly Network would be involved. They simply wanted to take the magical stones at the overseas prices, and warned the secret practitioners to not do the same thing again if they wanted to live. Of course, the families were using peaceful means before resorting to force. If they met someone who did not cooperate with them, they would heartlessly deal with them. These people were few and far between and they would not alarm the heavenly network. Momentarily, there were no new imports of magical stones into the country, only consumption. Furthermore, the six families proceeded to clear the, the magical stones from the rest of the black market. It was a large sum of money, but no matter how expensive it was, it would not exceed 400,000 per piece. Overnight, the secret practitioners suddenly realized that the magical stones on the market had disappeared. 
the six big families had bought everything. This was the power of the big families. At dawn, Li Yunchu sat in the meeting room. He kneaded his temples and smiled. There are no more problems. Let me wish everyone in advance a good cooperation and large profits. The other families stood up. Let us show Li Aishiao our authority. At this moment, someone suddenly ran into the meeting room. The alteration factory near Route 301 has started operations. Not only are they giving out magical leaks, they have also announced to all the secret practitioners that from today onwards, they would be supplying an unlimited amount of magical stones. 390,000 for one stone. From Li Yunchu's distress, plus 999. From Nalan K's distress, plus 999. From. This was such a terrible price. It was 10,000 yuan lower than what they were selling the magical stones at. If the families insisted on competing with them, they would lose even more money. Li Yunchu was so upset that he almost broke his tooth. How lowly! Since Li Yixiao had invited the families over until now, they had been tricked. The families never expected that they would still have magical stones on hand in order to not let go of the black market. If they kept to their word and could supply an endless flow of magical stones, then they would at least have more than 10,000 stones. Li Yunchu and the rest did not think that they would go to such lengths to maintain their black market business, not even hesitating to put the magical stones on sale. Was 390,000 yuan per stone a low price? Compared to the market value, not at all. By reducing the price by a slight margin, they increased their market share. It was not a loss at all for them. Chapter 563, Lu Shu the Lowly A Price War I don't believe that there are many people in the country who are willing to engage in a price war with us. If he is selling them for 390,000 per piece, we will sell at 380,000 per piece. This is not a loss for us. Last night, the average price of magical stones we bought from the black markets was only 320,000 per piece. I want to see whether they are willing to lose even more money. Li Yunchu fiercely said, everyone has seen the value in monopolizing the market. What do you think? Let us make our move. I agree, said Nalin K coldly. What she wanted to do the most now was to beat Li Yixiao up. But before that, she had to find the factory. If not, how could she face Li Yixiao? The supply of magical stones all over the country was running low. The previous week had been somewhat quiet and the market usually needed some time to react. But even after one week, there was no new supply of magical stones. The secret practitioners in the black markets were puzzled. Were there no more magical stones in the country? There were many families who were like Lu Li. What did they need magical stones for? People wanted to buy the stones, but there was no supply. Someone suddenly spread the news. The Luo City Route 301 Black Market is supplying an unlimited amount of magical stones. 370,000 per piece. Luo City Wenwan City Black Market will provide an unlimited amount of magical stones for 360,000 per piece. Luo City Route 301 Black Market is going at 350,000 per piece. The world was bustling for profit. There were originally many secret practitioners in Luo City. Under these circumstances, practically all the secret practitioners in the country who engaged in the black market business had come here. What were they here for? To replenish their stock. In this one week, they did not sell many magical stones. Fewer people were also coming to the black market. This was because many secret practitioners knew that as long as the Wenwan City black market reduced its price, the black market at Route 301 would do the same. People were thus tired of coming to Wenwan City. They could just wait for the prices at the Route 301 black market to decrease. What if they made losses buying magical stones at Wenwan City? Many people also stopped buying magical stones and became observers instead. They were afraid that the price would keep falling until it was the same as prices overseas. 
If this was the case, they would make losses buying magical stones now. Li Yunchu called for a meeting that night. 350,000 per piece was the same as the price they had bought the magical stones at. If 390,000 was a small loss, then 350,000 was a huge loss for them. What should we do? The Wang family asked. Even though the price is no longer normal, but if we stop now, we will fall short of success because of the lack of our resolve. Li Yunchu coldly said. I believe that we all have the bold initiative to do so, right? They had experienced many price wars in order to outdo their rivals in their respective businesses. If they were willing to continue a business that lost 300 million a day, what were they not willing to do? What wild ambition this Li Aixiao has. Does he want to monopolize the Luo City black market? Someone laughed coldly. Then we will play along with them till the end. The Lu family will sell all 10,000 of our stones. The Wang family as well. As the secret practitioners were making their way to Luo City, there was another change in the price of magical stones. Luo City when Wan City Black Market will provide an unlimited amount of magical stones for 340,000 per piece. The next morning, all the family members looked towards the black market in suspense. They were relieved when they saw secret practitioners, who had been queuing since the night before, lining up before the market opened. The heavenly network was closing in on them. One third of the secret practitioners may not be able to achieve their goal. But the heavenly network's current tactics had changed. The families were also very clear that secret practitioners from all over the country had gathered here. They had received information from their families early on. The families had noted down the secret practitioners to take note of and a large majority of them were either on the way or already here. The hundred people in the queue were the earliest wave. Li Yunchu heaved a sigh of relief. Even if we made some losses, we can estimate our future prospects now. From today onwards, we can get our own employees to transport magical stones from overseas. This monopolized market will be ours. Although they made losses with this price, the families had thought this through. They would use this batch of magical stones as a foundation for their market. In the future, they could deploy manpower to import magical stones from overseas. They would call the shots on the price then. Furthermore, they would cash in even higher profits. To prevent the other families from stealing business, someone warned. Don't worry. The one who eats first earns the greatest profit. Li Yunchu paid no attention to him. He turned to ask the person beside him, how is business at the other black market? Someone beside Li Yunchu laughed. We have most of the customers. They did not dare to reduce their prices, thus no one dares to go there. Ha! 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 Li Yunchu laughed. They have overestimated themselves. They sold the magical stones at a rapid speed. There was a never-ending stream of people in and out of Wenwan City. When the families saw this stream of people, they could not help but smile. What a beautiful victory. It was at this moment that their phones all started ringing. Everyone looked at each other. They suddenly felt uneasy. Li Yunchu took a deep breath and answered the phone. The caller said, the black market at Route 301 is offering to buy back the magical stones for 350,000 per piece. Many people have come to sell their magical stones. There have even been people who said that they would buy more stones to deal in. Furthermore, it seems like they have allocated people to come here and buy stones. They purchased a few hundred stones in one go. Li Yunchu suddenly thought about the few deals that involved a few hundred magical stones. He thought that he had encountered a rich family. He was worried whether a problem would crop up here, but after some background checks, he found out that the buyers came from all over. They were not much different from typical secret practitioners either. Thus, he could sell the magical stones in peace. They were actually sent by Li Yixiao? How lowly. Was this Li Yixiao's plan? Or was this Lu Xu's? Stop. 
Li Yunchu suddenly shouted to the people in the black market. Stop the transactions. But he was too late. They had sold 47,000 magical stones in one day. Li Xiao stood at the black market and said to an old man, I didn't expect that you would rope in more people to help. Thank you. Tonight we will drink. The old man stooped. When you helped us initially, you did not ask for anything in return. We simply helped you to buy things along the way. Ha! Ha! This time we have made the family's cop a cropper. Come, let's drink. Li Xiao turned around and looked at Lu Xu. He cleared his throat. Take care of this place for me. I will take my leave. Lu Xu smiled and said, Sure. I will calculate the profits with you tomorrow. From their earnings, they had made 24,000 million from 60,000 magical stones. Lu Xu had promised Li Xiao earlier a share of 0.1%, thus Li Xiao would earn 240 million. But Lu Xu did not promise this value to Li Xiao, he had only promised that his earnings would exceed 10 million. As he had decided that he would gather all the magical stones in his hands once again, what he wanted to earn was not just the quota of 24,000 million. Instead, it was the price difference between 400,000 per piece and 350,000 per piece. But he could not possibly get all the magical stones back. He had only collected back 27,000 magical stones today. The friend that Lee Xiao had called over contributed mostly to this figure. Lu Xu had 55,000 magical stones now. He wanted to save them for when he dealt with the Darkness Kingdom in the future. It was not possible to quietly transfer property worth more than 100 million yuan. But with magical stones, it was different. Lu Xu did not even acknowledge any of the weapons the families had brought for him. Only the piece of jade was worth leaving behind, as well as the black pearl to frighten others. Thus, if Lu Xu wanted to strengthen his and Lu Xiaoyu's training abilities, he would have to go to the Darkness Kingdom and pay for the tools as priced there. Lu Xu decided that when he had the time, he would use Anthony's USB to check out the Darkness Kingdom. Lu Xu was suddenly happy. His system's back end started to record a wave of distress points. From Li Yunchu's distress, plus 999. From Nalin K's. What did win-win mean? Didn't it mean that Lu Xu could earn both money and distress points? Chapter 564, Counterattack No one had thought that the price war they had been looking forward to would end in such a commotion. In the eyes of the secret practitioners, the Route 301 black market had won this one. But for some reason, they had stopped sales and no longer provided magical stones. Suddenly, it was all clear to the secret practitioners. It seemed as if their lord had bought the magical stones just to trick the big families. After the meeting between the families ended, Lu Xu sat in the office of the Route 301 black market, deep in thought. The door suddenly opened and Nalin K stomped in. Nalin K fiercely asked, Where is Li Xiao? Lu Xu laughed. He went to drink with Uncle Gao. The secret practitioners outside curiously peered in. Nalin K slammed the door shut with a bang. The moment the door closed, Nalin K flashed a smile. How was my acting? Anyone can stir up trouble. As we have discussed, give me the jade from the Lee family. I'll exchange it with my Vidra. And you'd better make up for the price difference between 400,000 yuan per piece and 340,000 yuan per piece. It'll be best if you made it up in magical stones. Lu Xu threw the jade towards Nalin Quebec. He did not provide divine water to the jade because Nalin K had said that she wanted to exchange her Vidra for the jade. She had worked together with Lu Xu and Li Xiao to act in front of the rest of the families. This was one of her conditions. Lu Xu could see how deeply Nalin K felt towards Li Xiao. But Lu Xu was curious. Is that piece of jade so important? What do you know? Nalin K glanced at Lu Xu and wore the jade around her neck. She gently adjusted it so that it would be in contact with her body. 
If the Lee family saw this, they would immediately understand what role the Nalan family played in this deal. She was the one who had suggested that they put up magical stones. She was also the one who backed others up. Once the Nalan family put out magical stones, the rest of the families would have to follow suit. There was a private alliance among the families. But Nalan K had immediately decided to make an alliance with Li Yixiao. They still had feelings for each other. Lu Xu felt that he could not underestimate a girl's desire to look good. Even a masculine woman like Nalan K wanted to find a way to get her hands on a jade that could preserve youthful looks. Okay. Nalan K waved. I will take my leave. Tell Li Xiao if he dares to touch another woman, it's the end for him. After she finished speaking, Nalan K returned to her fierce manner and stormed out of the room. All of this was an act. After Lu Xu finished dealing with this final matter, he heaved a sigh of relief. Nothing had been going his way since he returned. First, he had to choose whether he wanted to take up the position of heavenly king. After rejecting Nia Ting, Nia Ting intentionally made things hard for him. He did not allow Lu Xu to proceed to the cultivation college. Was the aim of selling these magical stones to earn money? That was only one factor. To speak the truth, Lu Xu was not lacking in money. But he did not get the mythical objects or weapons he had wanted from the families, thus this deal was of little value to him. On the other hand, he had wanted, from the bottom of his heart, to create a large affair to humiliate Nye Ting. It was that simple. Lu Xu was someone who bore grudges. Nye Ting had made him miss the exam and refused to pick up his calls. Even if Nye Ting was the strongest in the East, Lu Xu could not bear this humiliation. He had definitely made a lot of contributions on this trip to Japan. Not only had he been promoted to captain, he had even made outstanding contributions. Just because Nye Ting wanted to make him in charge of overseas relations, thus he could deliberately humiliate Lu Xu? For what reason? Lu Xiu did not mind facing danger. In reality, he felt that there was more to gain overseas. But he did not want to bear the lives of Lu Xiu and the others on his shoulders while doing his work. He could not forgive this. So what was all this for? Lu Xu had been sitting in the office, seemingly deep in thought. In reality, he was waiting for Nye Ting's distress points. What made Lu Xu somewhat unhappy was that he had not received any distress points from Nye Ting. Since he had peacefully left the capital, he had thought about this. He was not done. Lu Xu had to oppose Nye Ting's supremacy till the end. He wanted to see who could last longer. If it were someone else, they would give in after just one strike from the Heavenly Network leader. But Lu Xu would not give in. Lu Xu knew that even if he had money, Nye Ting could also freeze his bank account within minutes. But Lu Xu was very clear of Nye Ting's and Shi Xuejin's behavior. He had known them for a long time. Even if his account was frozen, he could talk his way out of it. Nye Ting could control Lu Xu because he knew that Lu Xu was not unethical. At least, he would not rebel against the Heavenly Network. He would not commit a heinous crime. Lu Xu's current courage came from the knowledge that Nye Ting dealt with things in an official way. The current conflict was that he did not want to be a heavenly king, but Nye Ting insisted on him being one. Others would think that Lu Xu was crazy. Becoming the heavenly king was a good thing. Why was he so troublesome even after such good things had been sent his way? But Lu Xu was different. He did not want to be forced to do something. It was at this moment that Lu Xu's phone rang. Lu Xu glanced at it and saw that Shi Xuejin was calling him. Ha! Ha! He would not pick up. Where did you go when I called you the previous time? And now you are the one calling me? As his phone stopped ringing, Lu Xu received a message from Shi Xuejin. What are you doing? Pick up the phone. From Shi Xuejin's distress, plus 999. Lu Xu was dizzy with happiness. This was the first time he saw Shi Xuejin so agitated. 
He had received distress points from Shi Shua Jin. But why not from Ye Ting? Another call came. Lu Xu waited for ten seconds before picking up the phone. Hello? Heavenly King Shur? Last time when I tried to call you, no one picked up. I was still worried that something had happened to you. From Shur Shu Ejin's distress, plus 999. I'm fine. Can I ask you how many magical stones you have? Shur Shu Ejin was dumbfounded. You see, wasn't Heavenly Kingly selling them? It has nothing to do with me, Lu Xu laughed. Cut the nonsense. What do you want? A letter of admission? Sure Xue Jin was rarely so irritable. Nye Ting had only been at the Changbai Mountains for a few days, and a serious incident had occurred. Sure Xue Jin did not know what to tell Nye Ting when he returned. A letter of admission? What letter of admission? Lu Xu acted surprised. Haven't I missed the admission period? I was thinking about it. Rules are rules. The heavenly network could not possibly give me a special advantage. You, Shi Shue Jin, held back from saying obscenities. From Shi Shue Jin's distress, plus one thousand. Let's put school affairs aside for now. Recently, I lost a tool. Did you see it around? Help me find it, Lu Shu said casually. Shi Shue Jin was dumbfounded. This was extortion. Chapter 565 From Nye Ting's Distress Shi Shue Jin suddenly calmed down. As long as Lu Xu was willing to state his conditions, he would no longer have to worry. At least he knew what Lu Xu wanted. He was scared that Lu Xu would, on the contrary, not want anything, other than to oppose Nye Ting to the end. To smart people like Shi Shue Jin, how could he not know why Lu Xu wanted to do so? This was not just greed. Luo City had become the hottest gathering spot for secret practitioners. But Shi Shue Jin knew one thing. Lu Xu was calm and rational. Lu Xu would know what Shi Shue Jin was doing. Shi Shue Jin said, What tool did you lose? Lu Xu was hopeful. A sword? I can't remember. Shi Shue Jin was silent. How could you not remember? Couldn't you just say what you wanted? Do we have to do the thinking for you? From Shi Shue Jin's distress, plus 999. Shi Shue Jin suddenly thought of something and his eyes lit up. But he kept his steady tone. I can't do this by myself. Wait till I contact you again. But do prepare yourself mentally for the rest. Shi Shue Jin hung up. Lu Shu smacked his lips. He suspected that his bank account would be suspended. On the other hand, the families in the upper classes could transfer large amounts in a single transaction. But he could not. He could only transfer 500,000 per day to Lu Xiaoyu's bank account. How long would he take? His balance was just too large. However, according to his understanding of Shi Shue Jin and Ye Ting, he was excited to see what mythical objects he could get his hands on with this money. He would not accept it if he could not get any mythical objects. Although mythical objects carried great value, there was no market for it. One could not buy them even if they wanted to. There would definitely be odd conditions to exchange mythical objects at the Darkness Kingdom. In the Darkness Kingdom, magical stones could not be exchanged for much, but mythical objects were an exception. Take for example Anthony's deep sea white sand. It could only be exchanged with the life of a heavenly king. How much was a heavenly king's worth? There was no way of finding out. This was one of the reasons why magical stones had not become accepted as currency. Another reason was that the quality of magical stones differed according to its origin. Some magical stones had a higher concentration of spirit qi, while some had a lower concentration. To experts like Nye Ting and Howard, magical stones were not as important. Thus, they did not pay much attention to them. It was not like in an ordinary Xianxia 1 novel, where all the magical stones across the world were the same. 
A low-level magical stone was a 1, a mid-tier magical stone was a 10, and a high-level magical stone was a 100. It was not so simple in the real world. Magical stones were like ores. You could say that they were worth a lot, but as for exactly how much they were worth would depend on their actual condition. Magical stones were not like gold. You could still refine gold to increase its purity. The magical stones in the heavenly network were more or less of the same quality. However, the same could not be said of magical stones from overseas. Some secret practitioners deliberately bought substandard magical stones and brought them into the country to deceive fools. Most people could not sense the concentration of magical stones. Substandard magical stones were also slightly cheaper overseas. Lu Xu had kept the magical stones for two reasons. One, he could easily transport them overseas to engage in deals overseas. Two, if he stored the magical stones in the seal of lands, Nia Ting could not freeze his assets. Would Nia Ting make him surrender his magical stones? Ha! <laughs> ha! That was impossible. Money could be used to exchange for mythical objects, but magical stones could not. If it really happened, he would pack his things and leave. Lu Xu waited for a whole day. Sitting in the office of the black market, he suddenly beamed with joy. From Nia Ting's distress, plus one thousand. Finally. Ten minutes ago, a black line suddenly flew through the sky. The friction between Nia Ting's protective gear and the air produced a loud roar, as if an airplane had flown past. Upon reaching the Luhai Lane airspace, the black line suddenly descended. Shi Xuejin was sitting on his deck chair and reading. He looked up and saw Nia Ting. What happened at the Changbai Mountains? Nia Ting shook his head, not wanting to speak more. He asked, Did anything happen these few days? Shi Xuejin's expression became sluggish. What happened over at the Changbai Mountains? Nia Ting looked at Shi Xuejin in amusement. If something happened, it happened. Don't try to change the subject. Shi Xuejin sighed. Earlier on, Lu Xu and Li Xiao wanted to sell magical stones, right? Yes, Nia Ting nodded his head. What happened? Which family did they sell the stones to? Who is in control of the black market now? Don't panic, Shi Xuejin gulped. The situation is not so simple. Nia Ting suddenly had an unpleasant premonition. Shi Xuejin said, Lu Xu had more than just a few thousand magical stones. He called over six families and sold ten thousand stones to each family. From Nia Ting's distress, plus one thousand. Ten thousand stones per family. Six families meant that sixty thousand stones had been sold. But Shi Xuejin added on, not just that. After he sold the sixty thousand stones, he still had many stones on his hands. A safe estimate would be around 20,000 stones. Nia Ting was silent. Do you mean that now, the families have 60,000 stones on hand? From Nia Ting's distress, plus 1,000. He had taken great pains to prevent the leak of resources. The magical stones were not so important. But he did not want the families to rapidly rise in prominence. One could not rely on just resources to advance from class C to class B, furthermore, beyond class B, one had to rely on their own self-knowledge rather than magical stones. But if they allowed the families to produce many class Cs, and these class Cs demanded to hold important positions in the heavenly network, it would be a huge headache for the heavenly network. Now, each family had 10,000 magical stones. This was enough to produce at least a class C. According to the Yin-Yang kinship of the three, class Fs needed 81 small cycles. Advancing from class F to class E, class E to class D, and class D to class C all needed nine big cycles each. Thus, if the families wanted to force out a class C using just resources, they would need over 6,000 magical stones. After reaching class C, Yin-Yang kinship of the three required that class Cs retake the course to make up for what they had missed. 
If one wanted to use resources to forcibly advance to the peak of Class C, they would need 110,000 magical stones. This was why magical stones were in high demand among secret practitioners, while experts often did not care about them. Experts were not willing to exchange their mythical objects for magical stones, as the stones did not mean much to them. At first, Nye Ting had suggested that Shi Xuejin use magical stones to increase his power. But after he had advanced to the peak of Class C, there was only the possibility of advancing to Class B. Advancing to Class B would require the strength of the entire country. Shi Xuejin thus gave up. Nye Ting paid attention to the magical stones as he had to consider the overall situation. No. Lu Xu bought back some of the magical stones at a lower price. We don't know the exact amount of stones that he bought back, said Shi Xuejin. Each family most likely has an average of 3,000 stones left. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens To tell us things that we beg to know Like what did the song mean? There's no time